Hi everyone, I'm Kevin from Highway. I will use this K7S to demonstrate the operation of K7 series. Let me first introduce the K7S. K7S is divided into waterproof version and non-waterproof version. This is the normal non-waterproof version. The whole body is made of a stainless steel. The front is an LCD screen and seven mechanical buttons. Behind is a charging cable to RS232 port and a seven core aviation socket for connecting the load cell. If you purchase our wing platform when you purchase the indicator, then we will weld the aviation plug for you. If you want to use your own wing platform, we have prepared the aviation plug in each package, as long as you weld in accordance with the instructions on the menu. We will weld the wires of load cell to the aviation plug. We need to check whether it can work normally after connecting it to the indicator. I will introduce the AD internal value check method here. When the indicator is off, press and hold the zero button while pressing the power on button. After the boot is successful, press the function button three times. The screen displays AD. Press the accumulation button. There will be a number around 17,000 plus or minus 5,000. This is the AD internal value. Moreover, when a pressure is applied to the weighing platform, the AD internal value will increase. And when the pressure is removed, the AD internal value will decrease. This shows that the plug can work normally. Press the function button again to return to the normal weighing state. I will demonstrate for you how to enter and modify the configurations of K7S, including parameters such as division and capacity. Let me introduce the functions of seven buttons first. In the normal weighing state, from left to right are the shutdown button, the power on button, the print button, the function button, the accumulation button, the tear button, and the zero button. We modify parameters. The function of power on button is exit. The function of function button is confirm or save. The function of accumulation button is entering the modification interface or digital shift. The function of tear button is increasing the number or select up. The function of zero button is decreasing the number or select down. The first method, when the indicator is off, press the power button while holding down the zero button. Set will appear in the lower right corner. After the power on is successful, press the function button twice. The configuration interface set is displayed. I suggest that you use the first method. If you insist on using the next second method, please ask relevant professionals to operate. The second method in the shutdown state, open the indicator. Modify the jumper JP1 on the circuit board and adjust it to EN. After the power is successfully turned on, SET will appear in the lower right corner. Press the function button twice. And the configuration interface SET is displayed. After displaying the SET interface, Press the accumulation button to enter. The first thing that appears 
is the choice of single or double division. Press the tail button or the zero button to select. Selecting DD as in means single division. If it is selected, the division value in the entire capacity is fixed. Selecting DD as Y means double division. If you select it, there will be a configuration of conversion point. The capacity will be divided into two parts by this conversion point. And the division value of the front and the back parts are different. This time, I choose double division to demonstrate. Press the function button to save. After saving it, it will automatically switch to the next parameter configuration. And the next is the configuration of the division value. All of our optional division values are this. We can see that the division value selected at this time is 0 0.01. The options can be adjusted by pressing the tail button or the zero button. And what we just chose is a double division. So the division value displayed at this moment is only the first division. The second division value is by default one level higher than the first division value. That is to say, I choose 0.01 for the first division value at the moment and 0.02 for the second division value by default. By analogy, if I choose the first division value to be 2, the second division value will automatically default to 5. Press the function button to save. The next is the configuration of capacity. What appears at this time is the capacity that has been saved. If you want to modify it, press the accumulation button to enter the modification interface. And it will display zero. Press the accumulation button to shift. And press the tear button or the zero button to adjust the value of each digit. So that you can enter the capacity you want. Press the function button to save. The next is the configuration of the conversion point. If single division is selected at the beginning, then the configuration of conversion point will not appear. What appears at this time is the conversion point that has been saved. The capacity will be divided into two parts by this conversion point. If you want to modify it, press the accumulation button to enter the modification interface and it will display zero. Press the accumulation button to shift. And press the tear button or the zero button to adjust the value of each digit. So that you can enter the conversion point you want. I choose to enter 75. Then press the function button to save. And the next is the configuration of filter. What appears at this time is the configuration of filter that has been saved. There are several options for filter parameters, 0, 1, and 2. The smaller the value is, the response speed of the indicator to the weight is faster. The larger the value is, 
the better the stability of the value displayed by the indicator. If you want to modify it, first, press the accumulation button to enter the modification interface. Press the tear button or the zero button to adjust it. I choose two. Press the function button to save. The next is the configuration of the automatic shutdown and the zero tracking function and the setting of the zero range at startup. Regarding the configuration of this automatic shutdown function, zero tracking function and the setting of the zero range at startup, it is determined by modifying the tens and single digits of the parameter AUTP. For specific related information, please see the form. I choose the default AUTP as 13, which means that the tens digit is 1 and the single digit is 3. According to the information on the form, you can know that the current range of the zero tracking function is 0 0.4 divisions and it can be automatically set to zero when it is turned on within the 20% of capacity, and it can turn off automatically. If you have other requirements for these functions, just press the accumulation button to enter the modification interface, and press the tear button and the zero button to adjust. Then press the function button to save. The next is about the configuration of the communication address. What appears at this time is the configuration of communication address that has been saved. When the communication address is set to 00, zero of the serial port is in positive order. When using response, communication such as modbus ask you can set the communication address from 01 to 95 if you have other requirements for the communication address just press the accumulation button to enter the modification interface and press the tear button or the zero button to adjust Then press the function button to save. The next is about the configuration of the unit used for calibration. The available units for calibration of our K7 series indicator are kilogram, pound, gram, ton, ounce. I choose the default unit, kilogram. If you have other requirements for the unit used for calibration, press the tear button or the zero button to adjust. Press the function button to save. The next is about the calibration of the 4 mA ampere analog current output. For this parameter, we will explain it in a video of the 4 to 20 mA ampere analog current output. So I won't explain too much here. Just press the function button to save and skip. The next is about the configuration of the 20 mA ampere analog current output. Same as the calibration of 4 mA ampere analog current output. We will explain it in the video of the 4 to 20 mA ampere analog current output. So I won't explain too much here. Just press the function button to save and skip. The next is about the configuration of gravity acceleration. What is now displayed is the acceleration of gravity in the area near Shanghai, China. If you have other requirement, just press the accumulation button to enter the modification interface. And press the tear button or the zero button to adjust.
Press the function button to save. After saving, the related configuration of the indicator are over, and it will automatically return it to the weighing state. After configuring related parameters such as capacity and division value, we can calibrate the weighing platform. The first method, when the indicator is off, press the power button while holding down the zero button. Set will appear in the lower right corner. After the power on is successful, press the function button. The calibration interface CALSP is displayed. I suggest that you use the first method. If you insist on using the next second method, please ask relevant professionals to operate. The second method in a shutdown state Open the indicator. Modify the jumper JP1 on the circuit board and adjust it to EN. CALSP is displayed. Press the accumulation button to enter zero calibration. It displays CAL00. Keep the weighing platform empty and press the function button to calibrate the zero position. After the zero calibration is completed, CALFS is displayed, indicating that it is ready for full capacity calibration. Press the accumulation button to display the weight of the full capacity we need to put. If there are not so many weights, press the accumulation button again to enter the modification interface. And press the tear button and the zero button to adjust the value. Now I have a 5 kg weight, so I enter 5. After inputting the value of the weight, put the weight on the weighing platform and press the function button to calibrate until the stable arrow lights up. And then return to the normal weighing state. It indicates that the calibration has been successful.